What's up everyone, I'm Steven here with Tiny House Listings and behind me is a brand new, just off the production line, 24 foot model Tiny. So in this video, I just wanna give you a quick run through, give you a tour of the outside and then we'll take it on the inside. And uh, actually, quick side note, this one has not been sold yet. So later in the video, we'll give you a little bit more information in terms of how to purchase. So on the entire home, we use the LP lap siding. We really love this product. One of the best products you can use for a tiny house. It's lightweight, extremely durable. But on the front of the house, we typically do board and battens, but on this one, we wanted to switch it up. Thought it'd be a really cool idea to use birch plywood. So we use birch plywood on the front for the facade and uh, we nickel gapped it and then we sealed it with polyurethane and we used stainless steel exposed screws just to give it a really cool look. It kind of has like a beach vibe to it. Also something a little bit different on this tiny house, we use black windows versus white windows. We really like that look. We got a lot of feedback from people saying, why don't you try the black window? So we did go with that. And in the past we've used a darker gray roofing material, 29 gauge. And on this one, we changed it to the black roofing material. And we really, really like that look. And I think it also goes with just the overall vibe of the home. All right, so walking around to the back of the house, we have the whole entire house is heated and cooled by this 9,000 BTU mini split. And um, this is more than sufficient, basically in any climate in the United States. And also all of our tiny homes come equipped with tail lights, so to make them legal when they're going down the road. The entire house is about eight foot six, and that's the maximum that you can go legally without needing a wide load permit or something like that. So if we go into the back side of the house here, you'll notice there's another window off the back. Um, and also we put our water and electric hookups underneath the home. That way, when you're walking by, like the standard RVs, it'd be in the way. So this, everything can kind of stay low to the ground. We also have dual 6,000 pound heavy duty axles, more than enough to transport this house. This house only weighs in at about 10,000 pounds, maybe give or take a little bit. Also the black water and the gray water all come out of this little section right here. So you can either, this is a standard RV outlet. So you can either um, use a flexible hose or you can use a standard water hose, or you can chop this off and go directly into whatever your uh, situation is whether it's a holding tank um, or sewer septic. All right, so now we're on the interior of this 24 foot model tiny and obviously we're in the kitchen area. And uh, so we'll start with that. This is a custom painted kitchen. Uh, so we take this into our paint facility and we spray it and get it all nice and pretty and then we install it for you, obviously. Uh, but the kitchen is six feet long. We have two upper cabinets. We have two butcher block shelves in the middle, for plenty of storage for a tiny house like this. Um, you can see we have stuff to put your cutlery, plenty of space, two burner cooktop. Uh, we actually increased the size of the stainless steel sink to make it a little bit larger, uh, to make it easier to wash dishes and things like that. There's three outlets in the kitchen area, two of which are GFI. And the reason we do that, obviously if you wanna run your you know, appliances or whatnot, but also we have to do that by code. Which I should mention, all of our tiny homes are fully certified. The reason we certify it is because it allows you to one, finance your tiny home if you're, if you're not a cash buyer, and two, most tiny house communities and even RV parks are requesting that the tiny house be certified. Even municipalities, if you wanna buy your own piece of land and put this tiny house on it. All right, you can see we have it staged for just a small dining area. It just gives you an idea of what it could look like. You can use it as a computer desk slash eating area. You can do all kinds of stuff with it. We have a full apartment size fridge here. We're just using this for staging. Um, and then there's storage above. And speaking of storage, there's also a really nice storage loft above. And uh, that gives you plenty of room to put all your knickknacks or whatever, whatever it is you need to store long-term. Uh, for example, a lot of people use uh, their Christmas stuff, right? So it's up there when you need it. Uh, also has a sliding barn door with a soft close, and that helps separate the kitchen area from the bathroom. All right, so now we're in the bathroom area, and this bathroom has everything that you would normally see in a regular home, just shrunk down a little bit. Uh, so you can see we have a beautiful custom vanity here, has a fountain sink on top, more than enough storage beneath and inside. Uh, we have a full-size flush toilet. Now, what we do in all of our tiny homes, we put an outlet in the back right here, and that allows you to put a compost toilet if you want. Uh, so we can even swap this out if you need a compost toilet and install one for you. So the shower that we use is actually a PVC product, and this one happens to be black, and we really love the look. It actually performs much better than a standard fiberglass insert, and you actually end up having more room. Uh, so we really, really love that look. We also vent by code, and we also think it's a good idea. We vent all of our tiny houses uh, to control moisture and humidity. And we also use a humidistat that allows you to set the, uh, the humidity level. So if you set it to say 60%, when it hits 60%, boom, it'll kick on and uh, vent all of that. We also, even in this 24 foot, even so in 24 foot, we have an area for a washer and dryer hookup and you can put tons of storage above it. So once you decide which uh, washer and dryer you want, we can add uh, large bins above it, if that's what you want for like bulk items. Anything you can imagine, clothes, um, blankets, things like that. So now obviously we're in the living room slash bedroom area. 
And um, as you can see, there's plenty of room for a full size sofa here. Uh, we even had some customers put like a nice sitting chair here with a side table. Um, this is only the 24 footer, so there's a little bit less room in the living area, but still plenty to do what you want. Over here we have just a little, we've staged it just for like a little sitting area, but you could even put another table here if you want to set or a desk. You could put another sitting, sitting chair here. Uh, we also have this one staged for a queen, so it took a little bit more living space. You could do a single bed, you could do a full bed just to add more living space. Uh, really nice when you're laying in bed, you can look out the window. If you go to this side, you'll notice that we have a wall outlet here. You can hang your TV there, swivel it around to the living area, swivel it around to the bedroom area. Lots and lots of light as you can see in this tiny house. Really, really good for single or maybe even dual occupancy. Really good for an investment. Uh, so this tiny house is fully certified, fully financeable, and uh, it's ready today. So if you like this tiny house, click the link in the description below where you can get more information. It'll take you to the Tiny House Listings website. And uh, anyways, I just want to say thanks for watching. If you have any questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll see you in the next video.